Does an all-inclusive Mexican beach getaway sound really good to you right now? Are you wondering if it's safe? Let's find out. everybody, it's Haley. I write my own travel blog, HaleyWithAFlare.com. If you are new here, please hit subscribe and don't forget to follow me over here on social. I'm here every Wednesday talking about different travel topics. So, you know, I don't post too much, but it's enough to get you guys what you need. <laughs> so a lot of questions that I continually seem to get are, is it safe to travel, especially to like Mexico, for example? So Mexico does not have any current quarantine obligations. They do not require any testing. So there's so many question marks around it, and I guess rightly so. So let's tackle this first. Is it safe? It depends on your situation. If you are a high risk individual, as you know, spelled out by the COVID guidelines, you probably shouldn't go, but that is your prerogative. Everything is your prerogative and based on multiple conferences I've sat in on digitally <laughs> this year with airline CEOs, the president of the US Travel Association working in the hotel industry, there are safe ways to travel right now, but that is going to be your decision and you have to respect the guidelines as to sanitation procedures, wearing your mask, Etc. So I think one of the misconceptions that a lot of, especially U.S. travelers have when it comes to Mexico is that it's some like third world-ish country where, you know, everything is just, you know, like contaminated and crazy. That is so far from the case, um, especially in the resort areas. The resort areas are so commercialized. Um, you, you wouldn't know that you're you know, in essence, any different from Florida at times. So I have found because I've personally traveled to Mexico, and if you want to see those vlogs, they're down here during the pandemic in August of 2020. I felt safer going to Mexico than I did some places here in the States. Like literally there were temperature checks everywhere at the airport, even these little hole in the wall bars that we went to. They check your temp. Anytime we left the resort and came back, they checked us, um, but they check your temp. There's a hand washing station, hand washing station. <laughs> there was a foot wash little station. I mean, they take it so seriously. And a lot of these resorts are also offering um, complimentary hotel stays if for some reason you flag for COVID on the way back. So I'm going to put a list up here of some of the big hotel brands that are doing complimentary COVID testing for U.S. travelers that need to have them within 72 hours of coming back to the States, which is great. Um, and a lot of them have great plans, like I said prior, where, you know, for some reason, if you test positive, you can stay there up to 14 days for free, depending on the resort. Another precaution that a lot of these resorts are taking during COVID is they're not um, filling up to full capacity. They're reducing and capping the occupancy at the hotels. You can also choose if you want housekeeping services. You can also, you know, kind of choose where you go on the resort. Being at an all-inclusive resort in August, I mean, you're not on top of people and you don't have to be around people if you don't want to. Some of these great resorts have swim up rooms. So you can in essence have your little own pool oasis outside of your patio, which is really cool. There are some great deals to be had. I highly recommend booking with a travel agent. A, it doesn't cost you money. B, they can usually get you some extra. So I'll put my bestie's information down here because he was able to actually get me some extra features and save me a little bit of money when I stayed at my Secrets Resort in Cozumel, Mexico. These hotels, these resorts, the airlines, the airport, they are taking the COVID and cleaning guidelines so seriously because their economy literally depends on it. The little island of Cozumel has a couple all-inclusives there. I have those videos down below, like I mentioned. I mean, that island off of the Yucatan, they are used to getting on average 70 to 80,000 cruise passengers a week, which is not happening. And it's just, it's devastating the local economy. And with there being safe ways to travel, um, you guys can check out my airline videos down below. 
if you're okay with it, give it a go. I know that they'd really appreciate it. The service is even more hands-on than it normally is. Um, I'd, I'd recommend it. I, I definitely would if you're in a good place and you are okay with traveling and will adhere to the safety and sanitation guidelines, go for it. Just remember that you do need that COVID test and you can stay at resorts that don't have it and there are ways to find COVID testing nearby. Um, depending on where you're looking, it could be anywhere from $50 up to $200, but it has to be taken within 72 hours of your flight time back to the United States. So make sure you keep that in mind. But that is all that I have for you guys today. That was another question I got through Instagram stories. If you wanna ask a question to have me cover as a topic here on Wednesdays, head over to my Instagram, give me a follow and uh, ask a question. I usually ask it at least once a week on there and I try to cover the topics between all different platforms. So all of my different social platforms, I kind of tackle different things. So to get the full experience, you definitely should follow me on all of them. And if you guys want to catch me live, I go live Mondays at 9 p.m. and it's starting to broadcast from the HAPS platform, but it broadcasts to here on YouTube, on my Instagram, on my Facebook and Twitter and Periscope as well. So pop in for those. I tackle a travel topic each week. Last week we did what did we do? Always said the seas last week, but it's a different topic each week regardless. Um, so make sure you check that out. And I actually am going to be debuting a new travel show with my bestie as well. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please in the comments, leave your questions, thoughts, whichever. I'd love to see them. Thanks so much for joining me and see you next week. Bye.